Hello, this video will take you through the Alice Chalmers 410 chisel plow. Uh, now this toy was reverse engineered again to 1 scale from the real chisel plow that was originally designed and built for Alice Chalmers under contract by the Jeff Roy Manufacturing uh, Incorporated Company of Amarillo, Texas. Now uh, this style and version was produced in the late 1960s. Now this is a replica of a 13 foot version and this consists of 308 individual pieces and was made from brass and aluminum and, and again painted in authentic Alice Chalmers colors. This was completed in 2023 and from this prototype there were a total of seven chisel plows uh, that were made and produced in a limited series. All are, have been uh, sold and most are, have gone to the United States. Um, as I've noted in other videos when I do have a a prototype my signature uh, SMV sign uh, is on here I also do that on occasion for chase units uh, in this series of toy there were there was one chase unit made in the Jeff Roy colors which I'll uh, stop the video in, in, in a couple of minutes and, and demonstrate that to you and then put uh, and stop the video again and show you with these two toys back to back the as i make this the chase unit was not um, just recently completed given the two-tone paint scheme and has yet to be delivered to the individual who purchased it uh, here you will see again a u-bolt design and then a really nice alice chalmers again tricolor uh, paint scheme with the uh, shanks and shovels and the uh, shanks and cream and the shovels in black. I currently have this, um, I pulled this out of my display cabinet and I have it in the upright position. So what you're seeing is with uh, with wheels up. Let's turn it around here, give you show you another, another angle of it. Um, I have this actually hooked up to a D21 and it looks really nice in, in my collection. Um, this was, uh, not not a bad piece to make uh it's not winged uh, one thing i have to say when you make a winged toy if you have two or one wing it's like making two toys that you have to put together when you have a dual wing it's like having three toys that you have to put together so that these winged toys take a lot of time and a lot of extra resources uh this here is is simply a um a, a single uh chisel plow design uh from the late 60s and uh, was um, uh, fairly robust. I mean, it's interesting when you go and build the toy, you can sometimes see what's left of them 40, 50, 60 years later and where they were welded and how they were, uh, maybe had their weak points in them. The ones I've seen of, of uh, these chisel plows that remain are in really good shape. I mean, perhaps it's the owner that maintained them well and used them well, but... From what I can see of the real ones and how it was put into a, a toy here, it was just simply really well built, very robust, very heavy duty, and, and a really nice piece. I'm going to stop the video here, and I'm just going to grab the, uh, the chase unit, which I happen to have here with me at the moment, and uh, take you through that one quickly. Then I'll stop it again, as I said earlier, and show you both of these toys together. Well, here we have the, the chase unit, the Joffroy. Of the seven uh, replicas that flowed from the prototype, this one is number four. And as you can tell, uh, this was uh, two-toned and it took a lot of time because the yellow had to be painted first and the green uh, hitch area here was of course bolted in, in, in place and soldered in place during uh, the build. And I couldn't take it apart and put it back on after. So a lot of masking tape was used and, and, and careful touch-up was was uh, also applied, you know, because there's some seepage from paint when you do two-toning and masking, especially on, on small, small items. And, uh, but this one here is with the, in the wheels down position. It's, it's kind of eye-catching. It's a dark green with a, 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 a yellow main color to it. Uh, this is actually staying in Canada uh, to a big collection in Canada, and uh, but this is what's what is the is the chase unit. It's uh, I'm not sure if the lighting will show, but the the shovels are black with the uh, the shanks here in green. Uh, 
again, very unique. This was a, 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 like a short line company that made this for Alice Chalmers, as well as they kept it in their own colors. And again, the ones I've seen, uh, very well built chisel plow for its time. And uh, very few welds and breaks or cracks in them. I'll just move it around here for you again. But this shows you how, when I do build a chase unit, I will put something special to it. Or if it was a short length company that built to the main line, then I would, I, I, I attempt to put, um, to, to uh, build one of those toys if the color scheme is nice and it's an appealing looking toy in the collection. When I first started this toy out, it was going to be a 10 foot version with 10 shanks, but I um, soon discovered that it didn't look right the sizing didn't look right when you scaled it down so i went to a 13 foot version and it's a much nicer looking toy and uh you know works well in a collection i'm just going to stop the video again and just for uh, uh interest sake i'm going to just put both the chase unit and the jaw uh, sorry the joffroy chase unit and the regular production alice chalmers or in my case the prototype together as a side-by-side -side comparison well there you have it the joffroy beside the Alice Chalmers. I don't have a lot of room on my table to uh, manipulate them around, but it gives you an idea what the difference in color scheme is, but it's an identical toy, simply painted differently, uh, like the real one, an identical uh, uh, design. Interestingly, I've seen some short lines that will make something for a, a, a mainline company over the past, and they will change up a design. Uh, Ford was kind of that way with white, on a couple of items and uh, and we'll see that i have a a large uh, i have a, an interesting ford disc here and i can talk uh, you through that with but in the meantime this tells you an idea of what the joffroy chase unit and the prototype look like side by side um, hope you enjoyed this video and until next time